Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, I want to go over every single Warframe that'll be available and farmable in the circuit for Duveri Paradox. If you didn't know, Warframe actually did release a list on their Duveri Paradox patch notes on all 33 Warframes that are currently available in the circuit's rotation. This is currently week three, and I picked Ash because Ash is pretty much the hardest Warframe to farm out of all the week three Warframes. So, hey, let's talk about all of the Warframes and what will actually be farmable. If you didn't know, Warframe has this entire little blurb down on their website with a list of every single one of the Warframes in seemingly order of their rotation. Rotation 1 would be Excalibur Trinity Ember, and we already saw that. Rotation 2, Loki Mag Rhino, fair enough, we already saw that. And what we're currently on, Rotation 3, is Ash, Frost, and Nyx, where Ash is seemingly the best one to farm out of all of those Warframes, because he's just the hardest one to farm. So what will week 4 and on of the Warframe circuit setup looks like? Well... Let's talk about that. Week four, they will give you Saren, Vobin, and Nova. I feel like either one of those are fine to farm. They are giving us a good chunk of random quest frames, so yeah, a lot of people want to farm up a good chunk of those after, right? Week 5, there is Necros, Valkyr, and Oberon. A lot of people will probably grab Necros for the increased loot. Valkyr and Oberon are also really cool, good frames that, you know, you should pick up if you like them. But I have a feeling that most people will go with the uh, Necros on Week 5 because... Everyone likes Loot Goblin. So week six is Hydroid, lol, Mirage, and Limbo. I would probably say go for Mirage on that week, or go for Limbo if you like jumping in between stasises and in between your little rifts, but Mirage is definitely the best one I would say there. Either way, it's still up to you, so you can pick either one of them. For week 7, there's Mesa, Chroma, and Atlas. I would 100% pick Mesa still, or Chroma because he's a pain in the butt to farm comparatively, right? So Mesa is a great frame, 10 out of 10, does great damage, kills enemies amazingly. Chroma is a dragon frame, and you know what, while he has a cool passive kind of kit, could be better, he's good for profit taker credit farming, but you just don't see a ton of Chromas out there. And Atlas is just punchy boy. Atlas does Atlas things. I should probably also mention that the circuit is amazing if anyone wants to helminth up their characters and get anyone thrown into the helminth. So uh, 33 Warframes, you know, 33 Warframes that can get eaten by the helminth, not a terrible idea. Either way, we have week 8, which is uh, Ivara, Inaros, and Titania. No longer will you have to do Sands of Inaros for Inaros, apparently. And there's a couple other uh, big quest frames. There's a handful of quest frames on here, I should mention, but uh, Inaros is one of the first one that pops out to me. You got either way, Titania, Inaros, Ivara. I would pick either one of those if you want them. Ivara, Titania, Inaros would probably be my order personally, but it's up to you. Either way, it's a good way to pick up and farm up frames every week. Now, week nine is very interesting. Week nine is Nidus, Octavia, Harrow which is, in my mind, just absolutely insane, right? Nidus, good frame, great. Octavia, okay, okay, great quest frame. And Harrow, also a great quest frame. They have a lot of quest frames all at once, and I didn't really expect that. So for week nine, I would say farm up Harrow, farm up Octavia, and farm up Nidus as the last one. That is my personal opinion. All of the frames are great. All of them are super good. Harrow just sucks to farm, so I'd say, hey, grab him on week 9. I really love Octavia, so I'd say grab her. But I don't think the Nidus farm is anything terrible. I just straight up cannot remember, but hey, I would say Harrow, Octavia, Nidus. So, for week 10, we then have Gara, Korra, and Revenant. So, amazing frames overall. Korra's pretty interesting, but my, not my style. I would recommend everyone pick up Revenant for just invincible Reavy boy. Or, everyone can pick up Gara for a good better frost-like defensive frame. Either way, you're not really going to be missing out or losing out because these will repeat past week 11, so you can always farm them up if you give it some time and wait. Last but not least, we have week 11, which will be Garuda, Baruch, and Hildren. 
So more quest warframes, more open world warframes. Huge pain in the butt to farm Hildren, so maybe you'll want to farm her up from week 11. Garuda and Baruch are also both really strong, really cool, interesting. I think more melee focused frames technically with uh, either blood stabbies or fists of monkish fury. So all are honestly good warframes to pick up, but Maybe pick up one that you haven't farmed, one that you don't want to farm from like their proper area, or one that you're lazy about. Either way, that is uh, currently the known list released by Digital Extremes on their update for all of the Warframes coming with the Duveri Paradox Circuit in the full 11 week rotation. Let me know what you think. It looks like uh, on the circuit rotation, you'll get at least one augment mod for the Warframe. So that's pretty hype as well, especially if you're a new player. So yeah, you can buy a lot of the Warframe blueprints straight from the market for some credits as well. If uh, maybe you don't want to get all the way up to rank 10, you only get up to rank eight on the circuit. There's a lot of different little goofy mechanics you can do around that. So, hey, I appreciate everyone watching. Hopefully this helped. Sub, like, favorite, and I will see you another day. Cheers.